You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter. Continuing our coverage of NAB 2019, and I'm here at the Orca booth within 16x9 with Over and Henry. Henry yep. And one of the things that we're showing here that you might think is cool right off the bat, we have the Rialto for the Sony Venice, okay? But this is an entire mount system here that makes this really usable. Because I always wondered, like, how are you going to be using this thing if it's tethered to the, to the camera, and how is that feasible, you, you know? Over, talk a little bit about what you guys were thinking about when you put this together. Actually, we had a request from a lot of users that is using this setup that they will be able to implement the Easy Rig together with the Sony Rialto setup and uh, as you can see at the back, batteries and some accessories. So we came out with a prototype that here you can show you, see exactly how it is uh, displayed. Um, and then you have a lot of holes and options so you can move uh, the camera ups and downs, uh, back and forth whatever you need in order to set it up the way it will be the most convenient uh, way for you to shoot with the Rialto. This is a really new uh, concept that is being used and becoming more and more popular in our industry. So this is the solution we showed. It has uh, this uh, backpack that one of the unique things that you see that there is here uh, a kind of um, tightening system that when I push this button the whole system is tied uh, to the waist and distribute the weight from the shoulders to the hip. So that's the, basically the idea. This is not a light camera and you're confident that the, this has enough strength to uh, hold the camera? Absolutely. You see this, this uh, plate is a 5 millimeter metal plate and it's very strong and very durable. And as you can see it in here, it's all the camera with no, without any problem and then you can also put some Anton Bar battery to power the camera if you want or spare items if needed. Yeah, you got two uh, vase mounts like right here. Yeah, and they can move anywhere, you know. You can put them in, in the bottom. You see here is a V-Lock one. So actually you can play with it and uh, set it up the, uh, the way you need. And again, you know, there's one of my things where I was like when I, when I heard about this camera, I guess they announced it at uh, Cinegear last year, Sony did was like, how is that feasible if it has to be tethered to the camera? You know, it's like, it's not something you can take off on its own. So you're constantly, so what are you going to have it on wheels? And this addresses it in a really cool way. Absolutely, absolutely. We think that it's a good uh, solution. Again, it's the customer to test and to see if they like the concept, but we think it's a great concept uh, to use it in uh, that setup. So. I mean, it's really cool thinking. I've never heard of ever putting a camera, strapping it on a back like a backpack. It's amazing. Yeah. You guys were literally just working on this like right before the show, yeah? Yes, yes. We decided it was like a month before the show that we got this request and we're running very fast in order to come and bring this prototype and we are getting feedbacks and after the show we'll take all the feedbacks and we'll come up with a final product hopefully by the summertime. Now, we don't know how in shape you are so I'm asking, yeah. you know, you could be just like straining. How is it to have this on you? Um, you know, I mean, the cameras definitely can get pretty heavy, uh, but this being the prototype in the first version, I know that this will definitely lighten up. Uh, I mean, it's very comfortable. You know, you feel that you're holding a camera, but it is comfortable. And um, I mean, the fact that I'm now holding the whole camera here is gives me a lot of room to get the shots that I need or um, go where I want to go, pretty much. It's just, yeah, it's just amazing. And I mean, we got a serious lens on there too. So, uh, you know, there's a, quite a bit of weight and it doesn't look like you're like struggling. It looks like you're up straight. I'm okay. <laughs> this is the full frame uh, Angenou mm -hmm. zoom lens. The, uh, you know, the 60 millimeters. So, with the adapter. So even with the smaller lens. And so, would, uh, how do you make sure it's balanced? Uh, uh, is it kind of a similar setup than what we've seen before? Or? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be, uh, I mean, it'll vary obviously project to project. You know, you put a small prime lens on here, this build shrinks up very much so. We have the CMOTE system on here as well, so we have full um, uh, control of the camera from here. So I can actually adjust shutter, uh, ISO, white balance, NDs from here, and not have to reach around the back to do it. So I have full control of pretty much the camera right from here, which is really nice. Yeah, you got to have that because I don't even know how that would work. Yeah, you get that, yeah. No, so this is a very another handy solution. Um, and then we're hoping to come out with a lot of more uh, 
accessories that are tailored towards the Rialto, battery systems, plates, things to really help shooters build this out how they want to. Do you guys have a name for it yet? No, not really. We, you know, this is the Rialto setup that is uh, now becoming more and more popular. We don't have a name for uh, the whole uh, system, but again, by the summertime, we'll have everything uh, ready to go and it will be in the market. And again, we are welcoming all the users that are finding an interest to use this kind of setup to come, to test it and to give uh, their feedbacks in order that we'll come up with the best solution for them uh, by the summertime. So if you're seeing this video right now on Facebook, uh, you want to go ahead and start leaving comments. You have some things, get it back over here to the guys. And uh, also once the video, uh, or wherever you find it, leave things in the comments. And then they can also contact uh, bandpro.com, make phone calls there, 16 by nine, and then uh, also uh, Orca Bags, yeah. yes? We are at the same location, so they can come over. We'll be more than happy to show them the concept. Congratulations, guys. This is really awesome. You're watching Indie Shooters back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.